is often used by individual salespeople managing their own accounts and contacts. However, ACT is suitable for teams and work groups as well. When deploying ACT for these situations, you'll probably want to centralize storage and administration by sharing one database. Before sharing a database, ensure that all computers have access to the server, that you are logged in as a Windows administrator, that you have an ACT license for each computer that will connect, that all computers are running the same version of ACT, and that your network isn't somehow blocking ACT. After confirming these items, you're ready to share the database. From the Tools menu, click Database Maintenance and Share Database. A confirmation message appears to make sure that you are aware that sharing your database will also share certain files associated with your database. You can click Yes. After the database has been shared, users will need a shortcut to that database in order to access it. Often this is accomplished by placing the ACT shortcut file, or the PAD file, in a shared location on your network. You'll want to locate that file on the server or the main computer and copy it so it's accessible to anyone sharing the database. Clicking the link in step 1 will take you to that location. By default, this file is placed in the database files folder, which ACT shares for you but you can use any shared location that you choose. Once this file is available, users can navigate to its location and double-click it. ACT will then open with the shared database. Your remote users can log in and begin using ACT. As we have seen, ACT supports teams and work groups by allowing a central database to be shared. In this environment, all team members have direct and real-time access to the same data. As a result, ACT makes sales teams and administrators more productive.